like, I love this dude, man. Like, his, his whole energy is just everything he's, he's, he's putting his energy towards, you know. It's very majestic and spiritual for me. And it's, it's a thousand people, a million people that do what he do. But everybody is not doing what he's doing. You caught that. It's a million people that do what I do. But everybody ain't doing what I do. You see what I'm saying? And he talked about dream killers. How one of our generational curses as a people has always been sowing seed of doubt in our children, in, our, in ourselves. You know, and at some point we got to break that. So I want to salute all the curse breakers, all the people who wanted to be something great, who saw themselves being something great, who identified with the greatness within themselves. Although they had people around them sowing seed of doubt in them, telling them what they couldn't do, finding fault with everything that they want to do. So I make hair oils. A lot of people don't know that. I do make hair products too. And I was telling somebody you know about my hair products because I needed them to help me with my labels and the first thing they started saying was how you know ain't nothing allergic in it motherfucker how do you know all the stuff you go buy at the dollar store ain't got nothing allergic in it but do you understand how negative that is now it doesn't mean it wasn't valid but it was still negative that's the first thing that you can think of when somebody is telling you that they're creating something it's everything that could go wrong with it your ass is a dream killer so I'm saying all of this to say y'all that when you're doing something great and I see a lot of people they get they get good opportunities the first thing they do is they blast it all on Facebook everybody don't need to know everything that you got going everybody don't need to know about every opportunity if you working on something great then work on something great and let people see it after it's manifested because telling people what you're doing before you do it it's like giving a thief a key to your treasures. Just go on and steal everything. You, it's fine. You can go on and steal everything that I work for, everything that I want, everything I need, everything I've been. Go on and steal it. That's what that's like doing. Our people are very negative. I remember when I was starting, a lot of people don't know I have a lawn service. That's been going on for the last 10, 12 years. I don't tell everybody my business, but I'm speaking on it today for a reason. Because I got a lot of negative responses behind that. That's why I don't put everything I do on social I'm, 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 I'm on social media. Would never know everything I do. Never. I remember when I was going to buy a carpet cleaner, and somebody was like, "Why don't you just rent one?" Why the hell do I want to rent a carpet cleaner when I can own my own? With my lawn service, I needed to get a. Uh, oh, uh, Oh, uh, what are those things? You a trailer? You know how many people was like, "Oh, you could just rent one." Why do I want to rent something that I can own? You know, people steal trailers. A bunch of negativity because our people, by generational curses, are have learned to be dream killers to our own people and sow seed of doubt into each other. And I think that's the worst thing in the world. But that is something we need to learn how to work on. And it is sad that we will celebrate somebody that just got a job, but won't celebrate somebody who's just starting a business. <laughs> and then we say things like, this is a white man's world. This world don't belong to no single group of people. This world belongs to the people who live on it. And the thing is, what we do with our space in our time is what dictates how things go for us as a culture of people the way we dictate how we tear each other down is the reason why we're on the bottom stop blaming the white man i'm sick of hearing that i'm tired of everybody pointing a finger about why we this we're the way that we are because we're fucked up let's just call a spade a spade we have a problem as a people. Quit blaming everybody for our problems, y'all. Our issues are deeply embedded, deep-rooted, and they're generational. And until we fix that, it's not going to change. It ain't got nothing to do with the government, the system, the white men. It ain't got nothing to do with slavery. That's on us now. We can quit doing all this now and making excuses and, to be, and, and reasons to be screwed up. Stop making excuses, y'all. 
quit being dream killers. Quit sowing seed of doubt into each other. We need to learn how to sow the seed of success and belief in one another so that people can have more confidence in themselves. But you know what happens? Most of us, we start breaking away from dream killers and negative people. And then those people sit back and wonder why, dang, why they not talking to me? Why they not calling me no more? Why they don't ever want to? Because your ass is a dream killer and you a negative Nancy and you are bashing Betty. And don't nobody want to be around that. Because there's people like us that really, they, we know who we are. So it don't matter what type of soul, seed of doubt you try to sow, it's going to get crushed like a jelly bean. And you're you going to be sitting back wondering, dang, how did they do that? Because we didn't listen to you. That's how we did it. Stop telling people what y'all going to do before y'all do it. Stop looking for brownie points and pats on the back. Do what you're going to do. And then let it speak for itself. Because success, real success, has a mouth of its own. It don't need to, it don't need to come from yours. Once again, telling people your goals and your dreams and your plans before you do it is like giving a thief a key to your treasures. On that note, happy Wednesday, y'all. Yeah.